Let's talk two things about Jake Paul, firstly, okay, right? So I challenged Jake Paul. I made a Jake Paul challenge video. It's on YouTube somewhere. It's also, it went really big on Twitter because I challenged him because he is a very fortunate young man. And he's fortunate because he's extremely rich because he's allowed himself to become the biggest clown on the internet. And now he's famous, right? Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's an idiot. I just think it's funny that the top G is a fanboy. And he runs with this whole thing like, what color is your Bugatti? Andrew, like, it's not cool to tell kids that they need a Bugatti to be cool. And they think by being this alpha male and copying this douchebag who wears giant fucking aviators indo indoors <laughs> on his fucking podcast, they think that's going to get him some pussy. Like, no, his Andrew Tate's fans are all virgins. Andrew Tate and Jake Paul are lying to you. This video is going to show you how the Paul brothers and Andrew Tate have tricked you into believing there is real animosity between the two sides. I am not saying their fight is going to be staged or making any such claims, but I am going to show you lovely people how some things about Andrew Tate and Jake Paul fighting just don't add up and seem a little too coincidental. Let me know what you guys think about Andrew Tate and Jake Paul in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Your various clips shrouded all over TikTok and other social media platforms, at a first glance, you think that the Paul brothers and Andrew Tate genuinely don't like one another, and that a fight between Tate and any of the Paul brothers would be personal. With closer inspection, one can see that the two sides are clearly working together to promote and arrange a huge fight, selling the narrative that they have genuine animosity against one another. Logan Paul goes on a podcast and tells the world that he doesn't like Andrew Tate and that he wants to beat him up. This comes after Andrew Tate says he will fight Logan Paul for free and that he also genuinely wants to whoop Logan Paul. So first things first, I want to get very, very clear that Logan Paul is absolutely not really a tool of the matrix. He's a bought and sold individual with no soul. He doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain you it. You believe that? A hundred percent. Not only do I believe it, he's proved to himself. He will flip flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch. And I will say that here publicly. If anyone wants to, I'll fight him for free. Then Logan reveals something. Logan says that his team and Andrew's were in talks and Andrew asked for Logan specifically to contact him on WhatsApp to discuss things. Logan showed us two things. The first thing is that Andrew claiming to want to fight Logan for free was purely just something Andrew said to enhance the narrative of the fight and of them not liking one another. This 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 Tate thing's a lot. Do you, like if you want to unpack it, bro, I'll unpack it with you, but there there's a lot of bullshit. He is the most brilliant fraud we've seen in a very long time. The second and most important thing is that Andrew Tate asked to contact Logan specifically to discuss the fight. Why does this matter? Well, let's realize something. These celebrity boxing matches that you have watched gain the fighters millions and millions of dollars. Not only the fight itself, but sponsorships, advertisements. The fighters are getting a cut of all of this. So, with such big money on the line, with arguably one of the biggest fights of all time ensuing between Andrew and Jake, we see that Andrew requested direct contact with Logan while discussing the fight. When fighters are about to fight, whether it be boxing or an MMA, their managers or their teams arrange the fight details and things of that nature. You rarely ever hear of the athletes directly communicating about a fight together, especially if they quote unquote have beef. So seeing this from Tate is a little strange. Logan apparently declines contacting Andrew directly, which is a lie by the way, and we're gonna get to that later. Then Logan has a wrestling match against Roman Reigns, and he gets injured pretty seriously. Oh, punch! What the hell are we witnessing, Michael? Oh! Uh, it's torn. Oh! Yeah, I was something special until my knee exploded. <laughs> But as everyone knows, I ended up tearing my knee and I actually told my manager during the match. Oh, Don't get that twice shit, bro. You all right? But what was I gonna do? Stop? No, everyone was looking at me and I still had a five-star frog splash to hit. Splash by Logan! Roman Reigns, Superman Punch! Reigns with a spear! The rain continues! Obviously in this state, Logan can't box Andrew and magically, all of a sudden, Jake is talking about boxing Tate. And then this happens.
Andrew Tate and Jake Paul face off in who knows where with this random guy between them with sunglasses on. Quick question, why do security guards wear sunglasses? It doesn't make any sense. If you were to get punched in the face, your glasses would shatter and... Anyways, so it was Tate calling out Jake to no response. Boom, now Tate is the most famous person in the world. Now Logan and Tate are gonna fight. Logan gets hurt and the narrative changes to Jake and Tate fighting. And we are supposed to still believe that there is genuine animosity between these two sides? After Logan let the public know that in order to do a fight, Andrew needed direct contact with him. Obviously, Jake and Andrew are in contact. And I think it's fair to say that Tate and Logan were as well. What does all of this mean? Well, I'm not saying that because they're communicating the fight is going to be staged. It is a possibility though. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm just pointing out that the entire Tate Paul beef is purely to enhance the amount of money that they're going to get when you guys inevitably spend your money on the pay-per-view. Well, jokes on them. I watch my pay-per-views only. Uh, I mean, I hand my money over and get robbed to watch mediocre programming like the rest of you. All I'm saying is be smart and realize that a lot of this stuff is purely for show, and Jake and Andrew are probably on a video call right now discussing how they can wrench as much money as possible out of their fans. As for any sort of prediction, I see Jake winning this. Jake has been training for the last three years strictly on boxing. While Tate was a kickboxer, he has bad eyes, he hasn't trained in years, and he hasn't competed in years, as well as the fact that Tate is 35 years old. I want Andrew to win, but let's say it is rigged, right? It would make much more sense for Jake Paul to win because he has so much more money to make the promoters and is going to continue boxing celebrities while this is likely a one-time thing for Tate. I'm not saying it's fixed, but using your brain, all odds would point to Jake Paul winning. What do you guys think? Is Tate requesting Logan to contact him directly strange? Is the fight going to be fixed? And who do you have winning? Let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks so much. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also, um, if I'm crazy and I'm just grasping at straws here, you let me know in the comments. Tell me I'm crazy and tell me that I'm just reaching for straws and, you know, there's no validity to what I'm saying. But I, I think I have a point here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy T-Dog and I'm out. Can you believe that chemicals you can buy for a dollar that you can't even name? 40 or 50 chemicals that you've never heard of, you can't name, you don't know where they come from, all combined to try and taste like fucking watermelon that you set on fire electronically and inhale deep into your lungs the most unnatural chemicals you can possibly think of, produced cheaply in China, is dangerous for you? Can you believe that? That if you set all these chemicals you've never heard on fire from fucking oil and petroleum and fuck knows what, and, and you get it deep into your lungs, it might actually be bad for you. That's incredible. That, that, that surprised me like I couldn't believe. I never expected that. I thought, no, surely this unregulated liquid that manages to somehow taste like fucking forest fruits made from literally petroleum. It's they fucking got it out. What's that thing in school you learn where they, how they refine oil? What's it called? Fucking that thing, something furnace. You motherfuckers know. And they put oil in and they get petroleum and kerosene and all these different things. And fucking vape. Vape comes out in the motherfucker. All these other dorks on Twitter. Look, I bought a Tesla Model 2. I put a $400 to put your fucking geeks. Who the fuck drives a Tesla? There's no man alive in a Tesla I couldn't keep the living fuck out of. I will drag you from your Tesla by your neck in front of your bitch. And you won't do nothing. And I'll get back in my Lamborghini fucking fully spec Evo.